Hey guys, it's KJ48. Welcome back to my Imperion Galactic Survival Let's Play. This is episode 11. Alright, and I've just been on my base here doing some hard work. I'm actually going to need some more fuel pretty soon. Um, but I did take everything off my ship. I brought it up here. Uh, I'll show you one second what I've got going on here. I've got a bunch of work going on here, making a bunch of items, refining a bunch of the ores I got. Um, in here I made a bunch of stuff. I've got just a ton of stuff here. And I cooked some, I cooked some dino stew, um, I don't think I'm going to take it with me, I don't think I'm going to need to, uh, and I have finished my ship, you can't see the name of the ship, but the actual ship name is, um, the SS Winchester, uh, because this is going to be, here, uh, new vessel, okay, it didn't do it, okay, SS Winchester, the SS Winchester. And the reason it's the SS Winchester is because uh, that's the name of the, the brothers in Supernatural. And since this is going to be the Castiel Space Station, I figured I would name that the SS Winchester. I'll show you some of the things I did differently. Um, on the bottom, here, you know what, let me show you what I've done on the top first. First of all, I still need to get these somewhere else, but for now they'll stay where they are. Um, but I do need to eventually move these, uh, these, uh, these thrusters somewhere else. But uh, I switched the ones from over here that were kind of making my um, core a little bit more exposed and I brought them over here and placed them right on the back. So that's kind of more out of the way. Um, and let me show you what I did on the bottom. Okay, just go up a little bit. Turn that off. And I've got a little, I've got a little uh, indent thing here on the bottom for the I got a couple here for the landing gear. I've also got ones in the middle. The ones in the middle are strictly to protect the core. Um, I still have to paint the thing, but I'm going to do that in, at a later date. And uh, let's go. Let's go assault some... Uh... Actually, let's make sure this thing's full of energy before we go anywhere. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to go get some Promethium or um, very soon. Go through a lot of uh, a lot of power in this game. Uh, I, also wish it would, it, I also wish it would use the... Uh... Well, I guess it doesn't really matter which fuel container it takes from it's actually pretty irrelevant all right let's uh let's go attack the uh some space stations um oh nope 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 i still want to do something before i go attack space stations okay something i want to show you that's pretty cool now i don't ha i have a way where why am i looking upside down that's got to be a bug. <laughs> okay. So what's up with that? There we go. Anyway, um, I've got a way to copy and paste this spaceship. I think it's um, Alt-Shift-O or something like that. No. Actually, I don't remember what the command was. Let me take a look. Controls. Uh, create blueprint. Right Alt and O. Okay, so right alt and O. The SS Winchester, store. And now if I go to F6, the SS Winchester will be stored in here. I've stored my other one as well. Now, if I, if I want to, if I want to, and I'm not sure if I do yet, this is this is really cheating if I end up doing this, but um, the fact is it takes too long to build these ships and I don't really have a ton of time uh, to be building ships. I should probably move those, those back um, landing gear back a little bit. Anyway, um, if I do end up using this, I can turn this into creative mode, respawn the ship if it ever gets destroyed. I'm not saying I'm going to, I probably never will, but it, the option is there, um, because I don't have unlimited time to be making ships all day, and these ships take a long time to make, like, a real long time, so, you know what, guys, let me know in the comments if you, if you would hate that, uh, because, like, Man, like, I don't, I can't be making ships all day, every day. Um, what this game needs, and I'm going to actually talk to the developers about this, this game really needs, in the worst way, um, it needs a, there we go, it needs some kind of projector thing. Like in Space Engineers, they have this projector, you can load a ship into the projector, and then what you can do later on is you can, you can build the projector up, and then it'll put a ghost image of your ship. And then all you got to do is go in there and rebuild your ship by hand. It's pretty cool because you still build the ship and you still use the the uh, the, the items, but you know it gives you a way to have have like a blueprint of a ship because we really should have blueprints of these ships, and um, that is going to be a problem for me if these ships ever get destroyed. And I I kind of expect this ship to get destroyed on this run. 
But let's see what we got here. Mm, I think the one over here is the one we want. We have to watch out. We have to watch out for the drones flying around. There's going to be guns all over this thing. So there, there's, there's a drone right there. Alright, this is going to be bad. Okay. No, don't look into the sun. The good thing is it's just as hard as hit for him to hit me. Yeah, how the hell are we supposed to hit each other? <laughs> Maybe I should get behind him. Come on, hit him! Yeah, this is... I don't know how you're supposed to hit anything up here. I'm going to try and get behind him. Oh, I hit him there! Go. Ugh, this is really difficult. I wish I had Gatling guns, man. The problem is, uh, the laser weapons do so much more damage. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, baby! Alright! Now, here's the problem. I don't get a damn thing out of that. <laughs> Uh, one of the new one of the new things in the most recent update that I wanted to show you guys once I see if I'm safe or not am I in any kind of gravitational field I am not nothing should be attacking me one thing I want to show you check this out if you go in here you can look at your major um, items in your ship and see if any have taken any damage right there the cockpit has taken damage so now you know your cockpit is damaged so what you do is you just get out and repair it So cool. So cool. I love that feature. Absolutely love it. Alright. One drone down. And the problem with the drones is you don't get anything. Like, But whatever. Let's try and get that space station. The space station has guns on the top and the bottom. So what we need to do is fight the top or the bottom, not both. We need to keep an eye out for those drones up uh, to the north of us. see better from here. Oh, there are the guns. Oh, jeez, we just got hit. I think we're, a drone's on us. Let's get out of here. See if anything's damaged. Cockpit's 1%. Everything else is fine. We're going back in. Looks like we might have to clear out that drone before we do anything else. We'll just give it a minute. What the hell is that? That's like a group of drones, man. I don't like that very much. Yeah, that drone's going to be a problem. So it looks like what you want to do with the drones is get behind them and then tail them, just like a real dogfight. If I could just get one at a time though, that would be great. Let's get around behind them. Uh, get ahead of them. Oh god. Oh god, there's multiple drones. Multiple drones. Bell Alley, get out of here! Oh god, this is exciting. <laughs> at least you don't get destroyed really easily, so, you know, you got some time. Let's take a look at our damage. Uh, we might have we might have damaged some- Oh god, not at, not the time, not the time. 
Oh god, he's right on me. Yeah, you follow me out here? Alright. Sounds good to me. Man, this guy's good. Oh boy. Got you. I got you. Can't hit you, but I'm behind you. Whoa! Come on. Come on, Cage. Stop going so fast. So I'm come at you. There you go. There you go. That was it. Oh, come on. This guy's a lot harder than the first one. Ugh. I need, like, some kind of joystick or something. Oh, man, that didn't hit him. Crap, I lost him. There he is. We need some kind of lock-on system or something with missiles. Come on, you bastard! Man, I feel like I should be hitting him sometimes. Not all the time, but some of these I feel should be hitting him. There we go. Yeah! Oh god, this is so difficult! <sighs> Come on, dude, you're killing me. Not literally, thank god. Oh, come on! This is incredibly hard. Try and pull out a little bit more. Freaking guy. Oh! Ah!
Coming after me, laser boy. You want some more? Let's do this. Whoa! Man! A uh, little green arrow, I don't see it. It's underneath me. I think I destroyed all the guns on top. I might be able to land. Nope, there's more guns. Oh, because I'm on the other side. Oh god. Oh god, don't go that way. Don't go that way. Head towards Omnicron. Oh god, he's right behind me. Is that him or no, somebody else, right? How are we? Okay. Oh god, we're not okay. We're not okay. There you are. This guy's a little bastard. Come on. I should probably get out of here. Uh. Having trouble finding this guy. There's a little green a green arrow on the side that points to where he is, but like I I don't see it in the heat of battle, you know. On. Gotta get like, a joystick or something for this. Yeah! Wow! Oh man! This is freaking. This is ridiculous. And you know what? I forgot to set my timer. I have no idea, no idea how long this video has been going. So I'm going to get out of the gravity of the planet. And take a moment here and go re go uh, check how long this video has been going. I'll be right back. Okay, we're going for like 20 minutes now. So I set my timer for 5 minutes. I'm going to get out and uh, do some repairs on this thing if I need to. Let's take a look. Even though none of the major systems are messed up. Um, there could still be... Block damage. It doesn't even look like there's any block damage. Yeah, this is working out pretty well. This thing is good. This thing is really good. I'm just bad at it. I'm bad at this dog fighting thing. It's fun, though. It is really fun. So you see over there to the top right? I think that's just a group of, like, drones just waiting to go into combat. So we're just going to steer clear of them. And it looks like there's another drone over here. Wonderful. Oh, 
Oh boy. Mm, no damage? Is he, was he the guy shooting at me? I can't tell. Oh yeah, he was the one shooting at me. It seems like the plasma the plasma drones are a lot slower. I mean, look at this. What? Yeah, these guys are a lot slower. I think they're more heavily armed as well. Wow. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, they're a lot slower. So I guess the laser guys are faster. Alright, that's my base. That's where we want to go. Let's make sure. I don't even think we got hit, but let's just make sure. Yep, everything's 100%. That whole thing with being able to tell, like, how damaged you are, um, by going into that, like, panel view is freaking awesome. That was, that was really genius. Now, are there any guns on the top? I'm not sure. Can't really tell. It doesn't look like it. Oh god, look at all those drones over there, dude. Why are there so many drones? Oh, it looks like there's guns at the door. Okay. All right, man. Looking good. Looking good. I think we will park here. Here we go. All right. All right, look at us. We are going to need some oxygen, so let's uh, leave this on. And we do have gravity. Now, with this thing being so high, it's going to be a little bit more of a challenge to get oxygen. But I think we can do it. Okay, did we bring any food? We did not. I don't think we did. That's a damn shame. Oh, we got the emergency rations if we need them. Hopefully we find some food in here. Okay. Alright, guys. Um, we're going to call this one here, and I will be exploring this space station next video. So that's going to be it for episode 11. We'll see you next time for episode 12. Till then, take it easy.